Hey guys, this will be EFI Live Episode 2 of Basics. Um, today I'm going to be going over Scan Tool Basics, how to start it up, connect to a vehicle, and how to select PID files or PID selections, which are parameters. So first off, we're going to open up the Scan Tool, which I have right there in the top left corner. You'll see it. Double click, open it up. Now I do not have my cable connected up because I'm not by a vehicle right now. So I can't show the actual connecting to it, but I can show you guys how to do it. First off, make sure your V2 or V1, whatever you're using, is connected to the vehicle and also connected to your laptop via the USB port. Once you're sure all that's connected, go up here to the green circle, top left corner right under file and hit the button and it will give you select controller. So here this is where you will select the controller. Now some of these have the names of whatever type of vehicle it is. Well, not necessarily vehicle, but like you got a Vortec 99 to 08 PCM or 90, 98 to 2000, sorry. And you have say the LS1A, which is 97, 98 Corvettes, Camaros, Firebirds. 99 to 08, which is 99 up, Corvettes, Camaros, Firebirds up to 08, some of them. Some Corvettes changed the PCM before that. They would switch it to an E38 ECM. So you'll have to have a little bit of knowledge what type of ECM your vehicle has. Um, bear with me, I have a cold today, sorry. Um, we'll just be using this LB7 Duramax just for an example. A lot of people love to do the balancing rates of the injectors. They like to check those, so I'll show you how to do that. So pick that ECM, you'll hit OK. Like I said, I'm not connected to an interface, so it says no cable found. But anyway, once it's done connecting and validating parameters and whatnot, you'll come back to this screen. Now what we'll do is you'll go to Open. Oh, I'm sorry. Actually, if you're not on PIDs, right here this bar where you can select your tabs go to PIDs so once you get here you'll hit the open an existing PID selection file and this is where you'll pick what PID selection file you want we're going to be using Duramax Imperial some people might want to use metric I'm going to use Imperial now if you have an LBZ or newer you'll want to use these one of these two the LBZ Imperial but we have an earlier Duramax You'll hit open on that, and this will be the list of PIDs that are selected. Now, mine's showing red X's because I can't validate those parameters since I'm not hooked up to a vehicle, so don't mind that. But now we'll go back down. Um, yours, if you validated on your truck, you'll have them right here under balance fuel rate balancing fuel rates or whatever that let me check what it is since I'm not connected I gotta scroll through the ones that are validated from the last vehicle I connected to which are all these and there you'll see the little gray X's down in the corner here those are not validated by the last vehicle I was connected to so I know this is throwing it off a little bit but here's our balancing fuel flow rates under one don't mind this, it's saying is not valid PID, but that's only because I'm not connected to the vehicle. So I'm just going to turn all those on. So, as you can see down here, it says selected PIDs 24. I believe that's the maximum you want to select. Now once you scroll back up to the top, it's not going to show those there until you hit the description once. And now they're here. Now you can see that they're also selected to log. Now I can't remember for sure, but I believe that 24 is actually too many for the LB7 Duramax. So you'll want to turn one or two off. So let's see here. Maybe barometric pressure, don't necessarily need to know that. Mm. 
all the rest it would actually be kind of nice to see actual boost pressure or turbo boost pressure probably turn that one off so now we're down to 22 channels and I believe it'll work good there now that you've got the PID selected you'll go over to data and here you'll see and what you'll do at this point is if you just want to do live data press the yellow button and don't mind this I'm not connected to the vehicle blah 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 so then at that point it would show the data here but then if you go to the dashboard it'll just stay blank here like this if you're using the dashboard using the gauges you got a B or C C is always empty from the it just gives you the option to put a third gauge list there but uh, since I'm not connected I can't show you how these are working but they'll just work like regular gauges but this is the numbers we want to know right here this would be your balancing fuel flow rates for each cylinder so you'll want to scoot this over a little bit so you can see which cylinders it is there we go and you can also just record when you hit record then your dashboard will read as well so the dashboard won't read unless you're recording if you hit the yellow button it's not saving anything that you're watching and when you hit the record button it'll save everything you watch and then after you're done it'll ask you to save it and so yeah that's the basics you should be able to check your balancing rates that way and uh, I'll be doing some more updates with some more tips and tricks with the scan tool as well in the future. And I guess that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching.